Hey guys, it's Laurie and welcome back to a new video and it's the month of May and you know exactly what it means it means that I am going to do the series Mermaid I'm not going to do it every single day since I just I can only upload once a week so I'll be doing an episode well an episode I'll be doing a mermaid a week but next week there is going to be a very special video so there is going there is not going to be a mermaid anyway but still so um, today it's Mermaid Day 5 and I decided not to follow the prompts uh, that I found on the internet. I just, I just, I'm just going to use it for ideas I guess because I don't wanna, really want to follow those. I just think they're a little bit boring so yeah, I'm not going to use the prompts. I'm just going to do it for my fantasy I guess. But anyway, so as you can see, um, I decided to record this um, speed drawing in a different angle and also I'm doing finally a traditional video just like you guys asked me and I'm very 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 happy that you guys um, support my digital drawings or paintings, whatever you want to call them. I am very happy that you guys like my speed paints because I really enjoy doing digital art and I'm never, I'm never going to stop. Of course you guys, you guys think that um, I'm going to stop doing traditional video but that's not true I'm still going to do them I'm going to do them both um, but yeah I'm just gonna tell you that the next video is going to be digital because it has to be digital uh, yeah but whatever anyway so for this mermaid uh, I decided to draw uh, so I look up for some reference pictures of mermaids just for the poses because I'm not very good at drawing poses as you know I still have to practice my anatomy a lot but anyway I looked up some um, reference pictures of mermaid poses and I found this one which is pretty cool so uh, yeah I decided to sketch it roughly and then I decided to draw it myself and uh, it turned out pretty cool so I'm very happy in how um, it, it actually turned out and that's why I decided to draw it and I really wanted to draw her a mermaid with a fish friend so I just, that's what I did I drew a little fish friend I'm not really happy on how the fish turned out I think it looks a little bit creepy but still uh, it turned out quite nice but I'm very pleased on how this mermaid turned out it turned out very cool and also because in this video uh, you'll see that I'll be using watercolors for the majority of the drawing for the background for her tail and her chest piece and everything so yeah and uh, yeah, I'm very happy on how it turned out. It turned out very, very cool and very nice. Yeah, but yeah, the pose is basically she's just like she's twirling around. I guess I'm not sure how you you can describe this pose, but so it's just a normal mermaid with brown hair and uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. And I wanted to um, make the colors look like tropical colors since it's springtime. I really wanted to put some bright colors like orange, pink, red, and that stuff. So that's what I did. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, I, have a co I have a cold, so that's why my voice kind of sounds stuffy and awful. I'm very sorry about that. I cannot do anything. I just keep getting colds everywhere. And yeah, that's kind of sad. But... <laughs> keep... that's... It's... Let's just go. <laughs> okay. Um, I decided to do this kind of tropical colors and also she has like a hair piece it's like some corals on her hair and uh, you're gonna see at the end I did put some pearls in her hair just for decoration because I think it looked nice and for her chest piece there's just two shells which are um, in a yellow orangey red pink color and there's like some little pendants green pendants and also there's a strap which is supposed to be a uh, seaweed so yeah that's just the strap that keeps the, the thing shell <laughs> on her but yeah and also her skin tone is just a normal skin tone uh i'm probably going to do a really a different mermaid at the end well not the end um next week and yeah i really like how the tail turned out because i did it with watercolors and uh i may not be very skilled with watercolors but i recently bought a pack of very cheap brushes like there are they are all uh, rainbow colored, which is pretty cool, and they are so, so amazing. They're very soft, and they didn't break, like some of the brushes break pretty easily. Well, they did not break, but they lose those brushes hair, you know, what I'm talking about. <laughs> and yeah, I especially like how the scales turned out. I did color her mermaid tail with watercolors with my Mon Marte, um travel watercolor set, and I had loads of fun. Only because I think 
when I do watercolors, I just relax a lot, and sometimes I just stress myself too much, and it doesn't turn out like I want to, but I just, I'm just gonna keep practicing to get better, and I did watch a lot of watercolor tutorials, you know, techniques and stuff, and also you guys, if you're a good watercolor artist, make sure to tell me a good technique with watercolors, or some suggestions, or some tips and stuff, because I would love to follow them and improve my art with watercolors at least. And uh, I did color her tail with with only watercolors, and uh, I did that with with the color red, orange, and stuff. And I did do the scales with one of my finest brushes, and I had lots of fun doing that. And then I did some touches with um, color pencils, Prismacolor color pencils, and a white gel pen. And that's called. Yeah, my dog is just beside me. He's just like. I want to cuddle with you. Okay, that's just totally random, but anyway. <laughs> um, I did do the line art on camera because uh, in this angle, which I was filming, it was a little bit more comfortable. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit more comfortable to do the line art on camera. And uh, yeah, it turned out pretty nice too. So yeah, I was pretty happy about that. And uh, yeah, as you can see right now, I'm doing the scales and it, it was just so relaxing and of course I'm so good at recording as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, and I decided to draw these like fluffy tails, like fluffy tail, fluffy fins on her. Um, with all these shapes and stuff. I just really want to bring out some good shapes with this piece. And for this picture, I mostly used um, Copic markers, Touch Fi markers, Prismacolor, Premier pencils, and also some Polychromo Faber-Castell pencils. And then I used my, like I said, uh, Montmartre uh, travel set, watercolor, watercolor set. And yeah. And for a background, I just decided to do like a little sand. And uh, as you can see, you're gonna see that when I do the background, uh, I did some kind of watercolor effect. Uh, where I put like some watercolor on top of the whole drawing to make it look a, like actual water and then I did the bubbles with some colored pencils and a white gel pen and at the end you're gonna see that I uh, there's going to be another mermaid drawing which was my first mermaid drawing of mermaid of mermaid uh, so yeah I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like a comment and uh, maybe choose to subscribe and if you do make sure to click the bell to receive a notification every time I upload a new video make sure to follow all my social media social media links are always listed in the description so check that out and yeah and thank you all so so much for watching and I'll see you all later bye <laughs>